Today I'm going to be showing you how to run El Capitan on VirtualBox. You're going to need to download the file in the description and extract it to your desktop. This may take up to 5 to 13 minutes. I fast forward mine so you wouldn't have to wait. Once you have it extracted onto your desktop or anywhere, you're going to have to set up a virtual box. You can name it anything. Make sure the type is on Mac OS X and El Capitan. Set the memory at around a gig to three gigs. Select use an existing virtual hard drive disk and select the disk that is provided in the description. Once you have created your virtual machine, you have to open the file provided in the description. If you have VirtualBox version 4.x.x or above, then open VirtualBox 4.x.x code. Or if you have VirtualBox version 5 or above, then open VirtualBox 5.x.x code. .app. When you open the program, you have to type in your VirtualBox name. So I'd type in YouTube El Capitan. Then press enter. Wait until it says done. It may take a while depending on your computer. Then you can exit out of that folder and start your virtual box. This may take a long time. I fast forward mine so you wouldn't have to wait through it. Once it is done booting up, select where you're from and press continue. Then proceed with the setup. When you get to sign in with your iCloud, press don't sign in because with Hackintosh you cannot sign in with your iCloud. Agree with the terms and conditions. Once it is done setting up your Mac, then you're able to use your new Mac El Capitan on VirtualBox. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.